All right, here we go. Not no more. What else? We're gonna meet Solomon. The movie guy. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, <laughs> they want to put us, out the pasture it? so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directives or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, <laughs> incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, <laughs> pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. I love you already. <laughs> Not those happy endings. All right, I am taking this car. I cannot resist. <laughs> Come on. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the <laughs> <set>. quietly. <laughs> when do we ever do things quietly? So yeah, anyways, what I was saying before, three days, or, sorry, bleh, two weeks until Watch Dogs. It's coming a lot faster than I thought. Gentlemen, how do you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, Tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. 
Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. Gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Alright. So we gotta get in this place without alerting Roko. Alright, so we're not supposed to alert anyone, so we should probably do this. No weapons, just just not to risk it. Oh, I gotta use the ladder. This again. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Slowly walk up. Without them seeing us. This guy out. Alright, here. Oh, wrong way. Oh, wait. I might be able to go in this way. There we go. That could have gone a lot worse, but. Oh, the door closes. Okay. Whatever. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. They'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> yeah. Punch. Ooh. Punch. Just keep punching him. This guy thinks he's tough shit, but not for long. I gotta say, the melee... The melee fights in this game are, j are just a bunch of jokes. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Sounds like a plan to me. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up Fly security. Fly I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Can we just go we... Big damn it. We got to scare the hell out of him. I think it's very cool. Just gotta fly erratically. It's not too late. Just, just chill. Oh, 
Uh, that might have been a little bit too erratic. So Chill out. Enough. <laughs> Enough. All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you. And just stop. Whoa. Finally, you come to your senses. Wasn't gonna go that far, Jesus. thing. Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on... Ah, ah, what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this hey. story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So, Solomon... Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. Ah! Hell yeah. There you go. We got something we love doing now. Sweet. Go.
Alright, slowly land it. Slowly land it. Get up. Awesome. Dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Rick. All right, let's go. Hey, look up. Here we go. I keep going the wrong way every time they try to show me on the GPS where to go.